Hello everybody, uh, in this tutorial I want to show you how to install Anaconda on Windows. So here is the link to install Anaconda. Go there link and just download the Anaconda installer. Uh, your Anaconda installer maybe uh, go in download folder so you just double click on this installer. Once the installer has uh, downloaded you can uh, run it and you can see this window. After this, you just click on the next button. Uh, click the next button and you will see another window. In this window, you just uh, click on the agree button. And next, uh, click to proceed uh, the rest of the windows. You can change the destination folder where you want to install the Anaconda 3. So uh, either you can uh, leave as it is. This will go in your uh, C drive users and the name of the Anaconda 3. You can leave this window as it is just uh, uh, to install by default uh, registry uh, Anaconda path. And the installation process will begin and uh, after a few minutes uh, your installation uh, almost uh, will finish. You can skip this step because uh, sometimes we need Microsoft uh, Visio code, uh, but uh, for the moment uh, you just skip this one. Once the installation is complete, you just click on the finish button and your Anaconda is installed now on your computer. So how can we check and further proceed? Uh, you just uh, type Anaconda on your uh, start button on your window and you can see uh, the different tab. First we will see the Anaconda Navigator and then we will go Anaconda Prompt. So in Anaconda Navigator you have uh, different Python IDs. When you click on this so you can see uh, here is the, the different IDs. Uh, for example we have Spider, Jupiter and Jupiter Lab and uh, others uh, PyCharm and R Studio and so on. So by default this application is stored in the root directory or base directory. The next step uh, is uh, very important how to create virtual environment and why we use virtual environment. Because uh, uh, sometimes when we use different uh, libraries in deep learning or machine learning, for example we use the uh, PyTorch and we use TensorFlow so we have different version of PyTorch and different version of TensorFlow and sometimes these uh, libraries conflict to each other so to better uh, to create virtual environment where you need to store all your uh, uh, <coughs> libraries as you uh, uh, want to proceed further for example if I want to work on the PyTorch and I want to uh, secure all the libraries in a particular virtual environment so you must create the virtual environment in order to uh, process your uh, all the libraries and running code so what is the procedure how to create virtual environment uh, simply you type uh, anaconda at the start button and then click uh, anaconda prompt and when you click on the anaconda prompt you will see this window so in this window you can see here uh, currently we are on the base or the root directory so we can uh, change this uh, directory using some virtual environment so we have different number of steps uh, to follow how to create virtual environment so the first step you type uh, conda create uh, dash dash name and your name of your virtual environment uh, in this case, I am uh, using the Abdul Inab, so you can use any name as you wish. In next step, you just enter and see this window. Uh, you also uh, type uh, yes, I mean why, uh, in order to proceed uh, and uh, finish this uh, virtual environment procedure. In next step, uh, you type Konda activate uh, your virtual environment. And you can see uh, now you ship from root to your current virtual environment after the activation and next you can deactivate uh, uh, this virtual environment so that's it 
So in first step, uh, you type Kona create the name of your virtual environment, then you type Y, then you type Kona activate uh, your virtual environment name, and then uh, your virtual environment will activate, and after this you can deactivate, and you will go back in your base or root directory. So that's all. So these are the number of uh, steps how to create the virtual environment in Anaconda. You can follow this step. If you want to create virtual environment with specific Python uh, uh, version, so you can type this uh, version for example. In this case, you can type Kona create minus n Abdul inner Python equal 3.6. So you can use 3.7, 3.8 or 9. The, the other steps will be the similar. Next step, how to check virtual environment and how to install different IDs such as Spider, Jupyter and JupyterLab because you need, need some IDs to uh, type your program, to run your program, to process your program uh, for the machine learning and deep learning course. Again, you go uh, on your start button and just uh, type Anaconda and you can check uh, we have two different uh, uh, selection one is the anaconda prompt and the other is anaconda navigator uh, at this time we will go uh, on anaconda navigator and you will see this uh, window after a few seconds so uh, initially by default you can see we have base or root directory so we can select if we have some virtual environment on your system and you can uh, see the different uh, ids on your uh, root or base uh, directory when I select uh, on this uh, button, so you can see in my machine, uh, I have different virtual environment. Currently, I have created Abdul Inup, so we will uh, use this one uh, in order to proceed further. So I select this virtual environment on this, on this uh, window, and you can see uh, we have uh, different IDs. Uh, you can notice uh, some IDs have uh, launch button and some IDs have install. So what do you mean by launch? Launch means these packages are already installed in this virtual environment by default. And the other IDs we must install uh, for further uh, proceeding. So for example, if I want to install Spider, so I just click on the install button on Spider. So it takes maybe one and two minutes. Uh, uh, to launch or finish this uh, ID. You can also uh, install Jupyter, JupyterLab and uh, other uh, RS Studio as you want. So here is uh, the summary. We have uh, some launch already installed package in, in this uh, environment and here we have uh, uh, the other IDs where we have uh, uh, no installation we must install. Next, uh, I click on the install uh, button on Spider, and after a few uh, minutes, uh, I will check my my window have this uh, different uh, status because uh, here I have uh, the Anaconda environment, virtual environment, and previously I saw the Spider has uh, installed status but no uh, the status is changed from the launch so you can launch this uh, id uh, just uh, click on this spider id and the window will show like that after this you can see in another window uh, we will see the spider ids or spider environment so in this environment we can type some uh, code uh, in this window and we can see the other uh, processing the dimension and the other things uh, in the right uh, upper window and the left upper window we will see some visualization some image and other stuff there is uh, another and second way how to launch spider uh, first we go uh, previously we used anaconda navigator but now uh, we are using uh, anaconda prompt so just type on the start button anaconda prompt click on this so uh, here is the command you can check different uh, virtual environment in your machine just type kona info uh, 
uh, dash dash envs and you can see uh, you have different uh, number of virtual uh, environment in your machine in my case i have uh, four different virtual environment uh, with the current uh, base directory so i want to uh, I want to uh, activate my virtual environment, so just I type uh, uh, Abdul Inab, Konda activate Abdul Inab, so uh, the status will be changed from base or root directory to the uh, current virtual environment. After this, you just type uh, spider and uh, enter. So the spider will launch in another window, similar like in previous uh, Anaconda Navigator. So here is the same window uh, as we launch uh, using Anaconda Navigator. So this is the second way how can we launch the spider. In next step how to install packages and libraries using uh, for machine learning and deep learning. So there are different pre-processing uh, and machine learning libraries uh, used in the treasure. So we will look uh, one by one in our course material. Uh, I will uh, introduce uh, briefly uh, the NumPy is used for scientific uh, calculation for vector matrix tensor and multidimensional array cycle learn used for classical uh, machine learning model OpenCV used for image preprocessing and some image uh, operations SK image also used for uh, image preprocessing Panda used for the acquisition of CSV file or Excel file Matplotlib is used for the visualization and yellow brick is the special library used for machine learning uh, visualization such as region of convergence and uh, precision recall curves and others uh, plotting. Here are some deep learning libraries in, in current workshop. We will focus only on the PyTorch. So you must install uh, PyTorch uh, before. So here I provided the link there are different versions uh, we can install uh, it depends on our system requirement so normally in my system uh, i am using a pytorch 1.7 version so you can install using uh, simple this command you just go in and upon a prompt uh, activate your virtual environment and just copy and paste this command and just enter and uh, it may take uh, 5 to 10 minutes to install this uh, pytorch uh, we can also use uh, some data augmentation library in deep learning. For example, augmentation is widely used data augmentation. Uh, so we can also uh, use uh, uh, some pip package to install this uh, augmentation deep learning augmentation library. Here, another uh, deep sea uh, libraries that handle the deep sea data set. Uh, uh, we can also choose this one if we have some tiff format or some lift video images so we can use the uh, these first two libraries and we can also if we have some dna information in fasta and other uh, formats so we can use biopython and python bio formats the next step how to install packages and libraries for the machine learning and deep learning i will show you uh, the one basic example for example, uh, I must uh, I want to check uh, whether the NumPy package is installed or not. So I just type import NumPy as NP and run this code. When I run this code, so I saw there is no module named NumPy. So it means that the, this package is not installed uh, on this current virtual environment. So how can we install this one? We have a very basic and simple procedure. First, you go and upon a prompt, just type coda info minus envs, uh, check uh, virtual environment, uh, activate virtual environment. For example, we have Abdul Inam. So, uh, previously in this virtual environment, we have uh, no NumPy package. So, we need to install this package on this virtual environment. So, we just you type first you convert from base to this virtual environment, then type pip install NumPy, and after this. Uh, your NumPy package successfully installed in this current virtual environment. Next, you just uh, type spider and open the spider ID 
and when you open this spider id in another window you just uh, type in port numpy as np and just run this uh, code when you run this code you can see uh, our error is uh, removed and we have successfully uh, run this grand command it means that our package is successfully installed in this uh, current virtual environment. Similarly, you can install other uh, packages such as scikit-learn, pandas, and uh, skimage, opencv, and so on.